Mr. Uh, President, thank you so much. Uh, President Ninistaw, I have a question for you as well, but if I could start with President Trump. In the middle of uh, Hurricane Harvey hitting on Friday night, you chose to pardon former Sheriff Joe Arpaio. I wonder if you could tell us what was behind your thinking for issuing a pardon uh, for the sheriff, and as well, what do you say to your critics, even some in your own party, who say it was the wrong thing to do? Well, a lot of people think it was the right thing to do, John. And actually, uh, in the middle of a hurricane, even though it was a Friday evening, I assume the ratings would be far higher than they would be normally. You know, the hurricane was just starting. Uh, and I put it out that I had pardoned, uh, as we call, as we say, Sheriff Joe. Uh, he's done a great job for the people of Arizona. He's very strong on borders, very strong on illegal immigration. He is loved in Arizona. I thought he was treated unbelievably unfairly when they came down with their big decision to go get him right before the election voting started, as you know. And he lost in a fairly close election. He would have won the election, but they just hammered him just before the election. I thought that was a very, very unfair thing to do. Uh, when I mentioned him the other night, you saw the massive crowd we had. The people went crazy when I said, what do you think of Jer Sheriff Joe or something to that effect? The place went absolutely crazy when I was in Arizona last week. And as far as pardons are concerned, I actually did this just before the meeting because I assumed that somebody would ask me the question. I didn't know it would be you. As you can attest, you didn't even know you were going to be called. But I thought I would. And, uh, you know, Sheriff Joe is a great veteran of the military, great law enforcement person, uh, somebody that's won many, many elections in the state of Arizona. But I, I look at some of the other people that were pardoned over the years. And if you look at, as an example, President Clinton pardoned Mark Rich, who was charged with crimes going back decades, including illegally buying oil from Iran while it held 53 American hostages, wasn't allowed to do that, selling to the enemies of the United States. He was pardoned after his wife donated hundreds of thousands of dollars to the Clintons. Then you have dangerous criminals. President Clinton pardoned Susan Rosenberg, a member of the weathered underground, charged as part of a bank robbery that led to a guard and two police officers being killed. Drug dealers. Uh, President Clinton commuted the sentence of Carlos Vignali, a central player in a cocaine ring that stretched from California to Minnesota. Uh, criminal leaker. You've heard the word leaker? President Obama commuted the sentence of Chelsea Manning, who leaked countless sensitive and classified documents to WikiLeaks, perhaps, and others. But horrible, horrible thing that he did, commuted the sentence, and perhaps pardoned. President Obama commuted the sentence of Oscar Lopez Rivera, who was charged as part of a violent independence group from Puerto Rico, responsible for 28 Chicago-area bombings and many deaths in the 1970s and 1980s. Sheriff Joe is a patriot. Sheriff Joe loves our country. Sheriff Joe protected our borders. And Sheriff Joe was very unfairly treated by the Obama administration, especially right before an election, an election that he would have won. So, and he was elected many times. So, um, I stand by my pardon of Sheriff Joe, and I think the people of Arizona who really know him best would agree with me. Thank you very much. Uh, Mr. President, I'd like to claim prescience that you did all the research, but I'm afraid I have to confess the question was fairly obvious. <laughs> and uh, President Ninista, uh, I'm sure that